This is the 2024 Lenovo Chromebook Duet 11 inch. It's a detachable format Chromebook, so that means you can use it as a tablet running Chrome OS or with the attached keyboard in the more traditional way. I've been using this new Duet since I unboxed it towards the end of October. I'll link that video at the end of this one, giving you a detailed overview of the device, the price I paid and my first impressions. For context, I haven't owned a tablet for years. I did own the Asus Chromebook Detachable CL3, also known as the CM3. I'll link that video in the description of this one, but that one's a slightly older device now. I found this Chromebook Duet 11 inch offers great versatility but in doing so there are some compromises you need to be aware of. I could easily browse sites or watch media with it in tablet mode and I can also do that in landscape or portrait mode thanks to the cleverly designed kickstand. Getting more productive with the magnetic keyboard attached was straightforward but I'd need to be at a desk. It's been no hassle to travel with with all of the parts it came in at just 976 grams that's about 2.15 pounds. Even taking this as a potential second machine is going to have minimal impact. And if you're just carrying the tablet, it's just 510 grams, about 1.12 pound. That said, sometimes I found myself wishing I had something like this 12.2 inch convertible with me. It's the Lenovo 500 Yoga Chromebook Gen 4 that I unboxed on the channel recently. Similar in spec and size to the newest Lenovo Flex 3i that I showed last year. It is about 36% heavier though, at 1.33 kg, about 2.93 pounds. But for me personally, a lot of the time with my normal use favouring the keyboard and having something I can use on my lap too, it did make it a closer call. The keyboard on the Duet 11 is well thought out, but there's no getting away from the size of it. You are compromised and at best will just be slower than you would be on something a bit larger. But my muscle memory soon adapted to it. It's the same story for the trackpad. It's making me think about getting a Bluetooth mouse. The Duet itself is Bluetooth 5.3. Related to that, the versatility of having a USB-C port on the long and short edge is great. Connecting it up to my USB-C dock at my desk and using my two external full HD monitors with extended displays across them and my other peripherals was a great option. What I haven't felt is compromised at all in terms of performance for getting everyday tasks done. Both in tablet mode and with the keyboard attached I found the MediaTek Companio 838 with the 8GB of RAM I have in this one has done a great job, including some light Android gaming. I think the processor has really helped manage battery life too. It's going to depend on your particular use but getting close to the 10 hour mark seems possible. The claim 12 hours might be a bit of a stretch for most. The 128 gig of internal storage I have on this one is plenty for me but I can see for some people perhaps more focused on tablet use and media consumption they may feel limited knowing there's no SD card slot on board. I think whatever you do avoid the 64 gig of storage option and I'd also advise going for this 8 gig of RAM over the 4 gig option. The other optional extra to really watch for is the USI pen it's done the job for me when it's been needed and I can really see the extra benefit it gives this duet. I mentioned in my unboxing it took a AAA battery, it's actually a quad A battery. The 10.95 inch display is excellent, really bright at a claim 400 nits and it hasn't given me any frustration aside from having to toy with the resolution a bit. Sometimes I was wanting a lower res in tablet mode compared to when I had the keyboard attached, wanting to use that highest 1920 by 1200 resolution to really make the most of the slightly taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio display. It'd be nice if it auto adjusted when you connect or disconnected the keyboard. I found the front 5 megapixel full HD webcam fairly decent and it was nice having an even better camera on the rear at 8 megapixel. Again full HD for recording with notably better quality helped by the larger sensor I imagine. The speakers are well positioned, they're on the short sides and I generally found the sound to be fairly decent, really loud when you've got it up full and you've also got the headphone jack of course. This Lenovo Chromebook Duet 11 inch has got a long update life to Chrome OS ahead of it until June 2034. I say Chrome OS but with some of the recent headlines the future of detachable devices like this duet could be extra interesting. Although comparing to the alternatives today and that's all we can do I think you'd be hard pressed to find an Android tablet with 10 years of updates guaranteed. Chrome OS tablet mode has improved over the recent years but again do remember it's not a direct substitute for Android today. Related to that not being able to do things like double tap the screen to wake it up and not having a fingerprint reader was a little bit disappointing. If you want to see more on this duet please do check out the video on the left now it's my full unboxing and initial impressions otherwise if you're interested in a small convertible 2-in-1 Chromebook it's either of the videos on the right side of the screen now.